This is Collection Logged, my newest Iron Man character. He's been sent by the Varrock Museum to fill out his collection log. He starts with only hit points, one randomly chosen combat style, and two randomly chosen skills. To unlock the rest, he'll need to fill out his collection log. As the log grows, so does his list of usable skills. Until a skill is unlocked, he can't gain experience in that skill, but for every five collection log slots he fills, he gets to spin a new skill to unlock from the skill wheel. For every 20th collection log obtained, he'll spin on the combat style wheel instead. To unlock all his skills, he's going to need 95 collection log slots filled. Once he has all his skills unlocked, he needs to get his collection log to 100 to complete his mission. Oh, and did I mention he'll need to green log at least one log over the course of the series? Welcome to Collection Locked. With those rules out of the way, let's get right into it. First, let's spin on the combat style wheel. Defense, I can work with that. And for skills, first prayer, okay. And the other one, farming. Okay, I can work with that too. With prayer unlocked, I can bury bones without having to hold onto them. Farming's going to be slow, especially without thieving. During the early game, random events are going to be one of the log slots that I can more easily fill. I won't be trying any methods to spawn them though, just get them as they come. I have a plugin called Skills Organizer that allows me to block out the skills that I don't have unlocked. Though this is visual only. It won't stop me if I accidentally gain experience. I'll be doing my best to check places where I would gain experience in skills that I don't have unlocked, which includes quest rewards. Down at the bottom left, I'm using the Personal Currency Tracker to keep track of the total number of collection log slots that I have filled. I guess I had best change my combat style to defense now. I do have a couple of quick quests in mind for prayer and farming experience to get me started, because I can only do quests which use or reward me with the skills I have unlocked. That narrows down my options a bit. I'll mostly be skipping through quests without any explanation. For new viewers, if you want to see quests in more detail, check out the Citizenscape series playlist. For now, I'm going to do the Restless Ghost quest. With my level 1 defense, I can wear iron. The Iron Man armor is equivalent to iron, but the boots up here are a slight upgrade. While I can eventually upgrade my armor, since attack is locked, my best weapons will be iron. The iron dagger here in the Goblin House is a temporary upgrade. Though, I'll be going after the Iron Scimitar soon. Okay, and that's the Restless Ghost quest complete. And an instant level 9 prayer. Chickens can't really hurt me, so I'm going to kill them for their bones and feathers. I can't cook the meat, so that's no good to me. I'll be getting slow defense experience here too. Right now, I'm going for level 5 defense. There's level 2, 3, and 4. Level 10 prayer coming in with these bones. And the final defense level, level 5. Yeah, I need some money right now. I can be taken right to the stronghold of security with count check for a quick cash boost. I got knocked down to one hit point. Since I have no food, I'll just be sitting here to regen hit points. Some of the stronghold of security monsters have collection log drops. It might be worth coming back one day when I'm not so low level. And here's my first random event, Captain Arnav. No log slot, but a gold ring is used in a beginner clue, so it could be handy. Here we are, third floor chest. Since the fourth floor chest doesn't give any money, it's not worth it at this stage. Now I can buy a steel helmet here with my defense of five. I'm also going to buy a steel plate body here in Varrock, then finally some steel plate legs in Alcarid. Those are some great new defensive bonuses. Can't forget the iron scimitar too. Now that I've upgraded my armor and have some money, I'm going to do X marks the spot. I'll get a clue scroll at the end of this, so there is a potential for a clue unique out of that. There we go, quest complete. I get a clue scroll and an experience lamp, which I can use to boost the early levels of farming straight to level 4. I'm jumping straight into Client of Karend now. It won't take very long. Since there are leather gloves here, I'll take those for a quick upgrade. Thankfully, the high level skeletons here around the Dark Altar are not aggressive. I had my armor on to tank a few hits if they were. There we go, Client of Karend complete. More experience lamps for some free farming, and I'm level 10 now. Okay, I can jump right into cabbage farming with that level. Since I have money now, I can buy the seeds too. 
Thieving is a good method for early game ironmen to get seeds, but that's locked for me, so I'm restricted in what I can grow. While I wait for the crops to grow, I'll be completing the clue scroll and training up defense. I need to visit Reldo for the orb to do this clue. Another random event? Just coins. Okay. This will be the casket. Well, the van braces are an upgrade, but I can't use the sword with my locked attack skill. Looks like the farm is still growing. Time to kill chickens. Defense level 6. I can get hit points and prayer here too. And there's level 11 hit points. Another defense level for 7. And there's 11 prayer. The farm is ready for the first harvest. I'm going for farming level 20. Don't worry, I do have plans for collection log slots after that. There's 12 farming. I can grow potatoes now, but I can't get the seeds. No, that's wrong. I can grow tomatoes now, but I can't get the seeds. Back to chickens. Level 10 defense. I can only hit a max of one, and with one attack, I miss a lot. So this is pretty slow. Genie random event, that's free farming experience. Hit points 12. For now, I'll be putting bones in the bank instead of just burying them. I have a bit of a plan. Okay, there's level 13 farming coming in now. And I got a clue scroll from chickens. Let's do it. Step one down. Step two is the casket. Open up. No log slots. Moving on. That's another hit points level for 13. 15 defense too. I don't intend to show every level I get after the first few, just major ones and multiples of five. With this compost, level 14 farming. Still a while from 20. There's another clue scroll from chickens. Hunting in Barbarian Village, that's not too far away. Okay, clues complete, and there's a casket. Saradoman Ornament Kit, that's our first log slot. Looks like I didn't turn on collection log notifications. Four more logs to fill and I can spin a new skill. That was pretty good for three beginner clues. Let's keep that luck coming in. I mean, I can't use the ornament kit or anything, but it is one step closer. I think I'm actually going to bank the meat and the bones now, on the off chance that I spin cooking soon. It'll be good to have some stock. I'm just waiting on the farm anyway. There's another hit points level on chickens. Random event, Rick with a kebab. Still no log slot random event. That's level 15 farming. Level 15 hit points. 16 farming. And level 20 defense. While I'm waiting on the farm, it's time to do my plan. You can see here in the bank just how many bones I've collected up. I'm here at the Ferox Enclave and I'm going to use them on the Chaos Altar. They are only regular bones, so even here they're not that much experience. It is worth it though while I'm still a low level, since prayer is such a pain to train. I'm going to get a lot of levels, so I'll see you when I'm done. Oh, and I will be grabbing this iron bar every time I come back for smithing down the line. Giles random event for a sapphire. Okay, that's level 27 in prayer and now I'm out of bones. Not a bad haul. Since I'm no longer focusing on bones and defense levels, I'm going to farm in two places. Sarah's farm and Hasidius. There's 17 farming, getting close to the level 20 goal. I might kill a few goblins while I wait now. It's slow with that one max hit and the low accuracy. Despite that, I did manage to get a few things from goblins. Level 18 farming. A Jekyll random event, still no collection log events. I'm going to do Ernest the chicken now. Eventually I'm going to want 32 quest points so that monsters start dropping champion scrolls for the collection log. It'd be nice to get a passive champion scroll. There's some money and 4 more quest points, 7 total. I have the time so let's do Romeo and Juliet. There we go, that's another 5 quest points added. Level 19 farming, only one away from my plan. I keep forgetting to do it, so I'm going to get a black cape from a highwayman. It's so slow to kill anything, but there's the cape. A bronze square shield from a goblin. It is an upgrade on the shield. I could buy something better elsewhere, but I don't really care about the shield much right now, given what I can actually fight. A beginner clue from goblins. Cook step. I can do that. Alright, now a Reldo step. Is this the casket? No. Charlie. He wants a raw herring. Uh, I'll need to go to Port Piscarillus for that. I'm going to buy 10 sardines and herring for later since he asked for both of those. Casket. Trash. But more herring though. Okay, I've got level 20 farming now. I can do the Garden of Death quest for a quick 10k farming experience which will rocket me up in levels. The Garden of Death is a fun little investigation quest which I would suggest anyone to do without the quest guide. I did it for the first time recently and it was a lot of fun. We started up here in the Kebo's lowlands. I found some bread, which might come in handy too. 
I'll just be skipping quickly through the quest today. I got the Arnav random for a gold necklace. That's the other item alongside the gold ring that I need for the beginner clue. Excellent. Now I just need to get past these lizard men and into that hole. Damn, poisoned. Okay, that's quest complete for 10k farming experience. That's level 30 farming for me now. Now I only need a few more levels for my plan. I'm going to start farming in Catherby, Ardi, and Hops in Unil and Sears Village for more experience. That's level 31 farming coming in. I'll once again be back at chickens while I wait for the seeds to grow. Level 22 defense. Seriously, another Jekyll random event? Am I locked out of the log slot once or something? Another clue from the goblins while I wait on the farm. That's a dragon impling out in the wild. Too bad Hunter is level 1. And locked. Casket. Nothing new or useful, though the plate body can fetch me a bit of cash. Oh, and there's level 32 farming. This is so slow on cabbage. I was a little bit early to get to this farm, so there's level 17 hit points and a seagull. Drunken dwarf random. Still not a log slot. I got a Charlie step killing chickens here in Ardy while I waited on the farm. Charlie wants a cooked trout, but I can't realistically get one. Cooking and fishing are locked, and the best monster I could get them from are cattle upon in the stronghold of security, with a 1 in 50.5 drop rate, but I can barely even hit a chicken. Speaking of chicken, there's level 23 defense on a chicken. 33 farming, one more level to go. Another close scroll and level 24 defense. Wizard's tower, I can do this after my farm run. Chickens are supposed to have a 1 in 300 chance of dropping a clue, but in 450 kills I've had 4 of them, which is more like 1 in 112. I've been super lucky on those so far. Next step, I need the gold necklace and the gold ring. Good thing I have those. Casket? Cabbage. Well, looks like it's time for... Citizenscape's Fact of the Day. For a beginner clue scroll, there's a roughly 1 in 12 chance of rolling on the unique item table per clue. From there, 50% of the time, it'll be one of the uniques, and the other 50% of the time, it'll be a cabbage instead. In other words, that cabbage could have been a log slot, but I just got more cabbage. You know, that crop I've been farming for the last six hours. Oh, fucking finally, a random event that gives me a collection log slot. There we go, a frog token, which puts me to two log slots total. My logs are properly updating now. And now that's level 34 farming. I can grow Gulliver Nova fruit in Hesidius and actively collect some log slots. 34 farming is the minimum level requirement for Tithe Farm, my prison for the next several hours. Tithe Farm here in Hesidius has a point reward system for the fruit that you grow. I can hand in the fruit for points that I can spend in the shop. There's a farming outfit and a few other rewards that count for the collection log. For the full farming set and the other log unlocks, it's 1,100 points in total. In Tithe Farm, you can plant these Gulliver Nova fruit in the patches here within the farm. For me, I can comfortably plant eight of them, then fertilize and water them. This will make them grow faster. You have to water them three times as they grow, which is why I have three watering cans. Once they're grown and ready to harvest, I can pick them and store them in my inventory. Every three fruit that I grow gives me a reward point for the shop, but I receive a bonus to experience and points if I hold onto them and deposit 100 altogether instead. Okay, it's been a while. This will be 100 fruits coming in. I think I'll deposit at 300 though. Okay, due to some lag spikes, I'll only have 298 fruit, not 300. With all of those in the basket, I'm straight up to 42 farming and 102 points. I can now afford to buy the farmer's straw hat. That is three log slots filled. Oh, a pinball random event. Not really useful for the collection log, but some gems won't be turned down. Five sapphires? Okay. I'm going to keep going today until I get to five log slots and spin my first new skill. With these fruit, I have 62 total points and 44 farming. Now I can come back out here to buy the farmer's boots for my fourth log slot filled. You can follow along on the timer at the bottom to see how long Tithe Farm takes. There's another 104 fruit and level 46 farming. That's not enough for another piece of the set though just yet. After every 100 fruit I need to stand out here and get my run restore back. With level 1 agility and no graceful it drains pretty quick. You also can't get a random event within Tithe Farm so I might get one while I wait out here. See, there it is, a Rick random event for some coins. That is 100 more fruit and 47 farming overall. I still need some more points though. Yet another 100 fruit, 48 farming. Nearly enough for the jacket. 
Oh, a Jekyll random again while I wait for run energy. This. This is peak tithe farm content. These are the final fruits. Now I can afford the farmer's jacket, my fifth collection log slot filled. You know what that means? Spin that wheel! Cooking. Okay. I'll have to see what I can do with that. Let's unblock cooking from my skills tab. Alright, that's enough for today. I'll see you next time for more collection log content.